I'm Todd Grisham. There's no other venue like it. Welcome inside the Grand Theater. A beautiful theater ready for a fist fight. Marciano with one of the best right hands in boxing history. If he catches you flush, it's good night. Fantastic punch. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Nice punch. This theater is used to hosting concerts and plays, but tonight it's the sweet science that takes center stage. You walk in, you cannot hide or duck or stand behind anybody. The audience is on you. They see every single movement, every single twitch. If you're scared, the thousands of people are here in this place, they will spot it. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. the footwork, the hand speed. This is the best that the middleweight division has to offer. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. Which one of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Bell to start the round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. That hook doesn't score. down would be wise here to take the full eight seconds One, two, three, four, five. so back into the fray again but how much do they have left oh he's up I I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner and if he does will he get back up from the stool again that was a shot Halfway through the round, and they're struggling a little bit. There's a lot of work to do, and you know what? It's hard to pull back. Don't get into the habit of losing. Don't get into the habit of being second place. You've got to change the habit. You've got to change something, because otherwise, why should it change? This fighter brings a barrage of punches. They won't let you breathe. It's like fighting a hornet's nest. Oh, man, you've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him low on the blind side of the referee. Get him angry. That's another scoring shot. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Perfect counter lands. Hoping for an all-action slugfest. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. What a punch! Misses with the jab. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. 
When you're training to fight a swarmer, you got to focus on your conditioning because they will push you to the edge of your limits. You've got to be fit to fight a fighter like this because they will stay in your face. They will throw punches at you. They don't even let you breathe. You've got to be fit. If you're not fit, the fight's over. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I gotta respect both. The corner's gotta take a good look at their fighter. The true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they get into trouble, and that's what he's done right here. Three days now needs to steady the pace, get the pace back to normal. Just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They ring the bell and here we go. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Obvious which one of these fighters has to get on the inside. Hard reach as well as speed, reach as well as power. What more can a fighter ask for? Do not throw out a lazy jab in this fight, you'll get knocked out. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. They're giving us a high-tempo show. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. Defense failed them. Up, but at some point, Johnny, he's got to live the fight another day, doesn't he? Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters, it makes them angry. They want to get back into the mix again. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Beautiful counter shot. We're hoping for an all action slugfest. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Two fighters are made for one another. Tried to score with a jab. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? This is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get speed, good footwork. You're gonna get punches thrown from head to body. You even get a lot of toe to toe. When you got fighters at these weight divisions, they'll stand there. They don't think they need a ring. They need phone box. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. When lands. Oh, and they got rocks! What a moment this is! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How are we going to 
Nice, got back up, took the deep breath and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. Marciano with one of the best right hands in boxing history. If he catches you flush, it's good night. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fight, a fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are... think he knows he's got a lot of work to do. So the referee says he can continue. Got to look at his corner, look at his structure, defend him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow, get to the end of the round. Got to waste time, get stuck behind the referee. When he comes to the post, tie him up. The referee's then got to paw you. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it. Because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and pull him down again. And that's a lot of points to lose in the round. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner is going to have their work cut out for them. There's the bell to start the round. Let's see if they can shake off the cobwebs after a disastrous last round. Two knockdowns in that last round. There'll be sheer panic in that corner. What do they do? Do they throw the towel in? Do they let him come back out again? Because they know their fighter is like a lamb to the slaughter. And now going for the finish. says we will fight on not sure about this one that is a show of character when you're put down your eagles hurt your chin's hurt your body's hurting and you've got to get up suck it up and think right i'm back in the game again it's so so hard for fighting halfway through the round and i think we all know who's winning here which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked no doubt at all. You can see who's winning. You can see who's got it in hand. You can see who's comfortable. Or it's a bit of a mouse trap.